Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of AutoCraft. My name is Zame012 and let's get into it. So for today's video, it's going to be shorter than most um, just because I got a brand new desktop computer built custom built by me and I have been working on it and from, if you watched the last video at the very end, I said I got COVID. I was tested positive for COVID at least. And um, so I'm getting back into cl into actual classroom classwork for college and stuff. Emailing professors left, right, and center. But no, no symptoms at all whatsoever. So that's always good. But because of all of extenuating circumstances and stuff. We're going to do a little shorter video today, and then we will be back next time with a full-length video. So for today's video, I want to basically make a better tree farm than what we have here. Um, I mean, this one's, this one's fantastic and all. Like, it, it, it does the job very well, but Whoops. So, yeah, I mean, I, I've taken a bunch of these, but they used to be full pretty well. But I think we could use another log type, and that would be Acacia. And at the moment, on stream, um, I built this dumb thing. Basically, you plant, you plant a tree there. So I'd plant like the acacia tree here, bone meal it, and then flip that. It drops TNT, and bye bye, bye bye tree. Anything left over, I just get max out and hit it. But this is a fully automatic TNT tree farm that Bio Mango. His video on this will be in the description below. But I think I think I want to build this. So we're gonna collect some resources, and I I will be right back once I collect all of them. So as I was at, going back to my base to collect some resources for the tree farm, I noticed a new addition to the mountain. Two new additions. It looks like, I'm going to guess the mechanic put, you know, just a basic M, but then looks like we side boss put his head up here as well. Nice, I like it. But I think, I think this actually gives me an idea. I have an idea. So let's head over to the shopping district for that idea. In the shopping district, Splashes went on a rampage and made that thing to remove all of the mycelium in the shopping district, except for a couple of spots. There's only a couple of patches where it's still there, but literally the rest of it is grass. Literally, you can just tell the whole thing is just grass. So, I I don't have any clips of it, but I did help load this whole thing because it it was a manual thing. You had to you had to press something on that end, something right there, and it updated. It was an instant update because it's it's just pistons and slime blocks and honey blocks. So it was an instant update, but it needed to be loaded. So there's three people, splashes, death in the middle somewhere, and then me on the end. But the reason we're here, we're going to update this shop. So I think, I don't even remember what the last time I had, last item I had in here, to be honest. There was something in here. Oh! I don't, I don't remember what it was, but we got 20 diamonds. Okay, cool. But what I want to do is update this. So get rid of that. Keep that there. But 
make a book and have this be mountain head mountain head build permit permit so basically what you would do is you put uh, there's a book here with instruction I'll have to make the book I don't have it on me yet but I'm going to I'm thinking of make a book sign it put it here and then what the book says is it would give you there would be a price of I like say two diamond blocks or something and you have a a, a permit to build your head on the mountain. It's like my head would be built on the mountain. Alex and mechan or Boss already have their heads. Mechanic just has his M. But you can build. You have to build it. I'm not building it for you. I'm terrible at that. But you can build your own head on the mountain for a set price. So I'll write the book. And we'll be right back. I finished the book, and let's read it. I thought I, I thought it was pretty good. So, mountain head build permit. Purchase instructions on following pages. By decree of King Zame of the mountain dwellers, the dwarves invite thee to build thy head on top of our mountain. This highest honor comes at a price, though. Not everyone will be able to do this noble task. Some might even fail. To build on the king's mountain, you must place three diamond blocks inside this here barrel. But wait! <coughs> there are rules that you must follow. What is your name? What is your quest? What is your favorite color? Wait, wrong thing. Rules. Do not break the mountain, only build on and around it. Must be 20 blocks above the door Y level. I don't know what that is. Do not break or build closely to a num another member's head. Plural. If you follow these rules and pay, the king, the kind, the king, <laughs> gives thee thy permit in question. And then you place the, your uh, payment in there. So I'm going to fix this book real quick. And then we will... I will actually be back with resources for the build. Back at the farming district with resources now. So I, this took way longer than it should have. We have hopefully everything we need. I couldn't fit all of it into the shulker boxes, but I hope we have everything we need to build the tree farm. So here we go.
All right. Oh, hello. We have some guests for the uh, the preview of half of the build. So this is half of the tree farm done. And what this is is obviously the blast chamber. And then all of this, minus a row of pistons here, is the log moving device and delay. So basically what this what this does is the logs get pushed from this direction. They get pushed this way. They come through and then depending on the height of it what these observers will detect that. So like if this one moved it would signal to push out this piston, which pushes out this one, and then pushes all of it down. It pushes it all down, and then that goes, oh, and I just fell. And that, where does that come? Uh, right here, it comes out here. So that, when each one, in a one tick push, will push them all around. All around. So yeah, and then they enter here, and then they get pushed down, and then at a certain height, I believe, um, a TNT will be signaled here to you know be set off, and then through timers and stuff, um, it will. Oops, it will. There is a. Uh, what is it called? An iron trapdoor here. The iron trapdoor will let, let go. So then TNT is perfectly placed in the center of it, and it will go down and blow up about three and a half stacks of logs. So as soon as you put the water in, but that was what I have been. That's what I have been working on. And as you saw at the end of that time lapse, um, we had I think four time lapses in that. I think, because um, I'm, I'm trying to mess with replay mod as well, because, you know, it hasn't worked in the past. But the next thing we have to do is the tree building chamber. All right. It is done. I hope. I really hope it's done. I have double checked, triple checked, quadruple checked um, everything. Uh, I'm just going to do birch as a good baseline, because birch trees are pretty consistent. Um, so so I, I guess here we go. Oh, the only thing I haven't done yet is put the TNT in the chest. I'll do that, but we want to make sure the actual thing works before we start blowing crap up. So here is literally my first test I've, I, I've done. You can tell I haven't done anything yet. So I've already placed the tree in. I've already run just the... Um, the bone meal part just to make sure the bone meal actually gets up here and so far it looks like it does which is a good start so i guess we'll just turn it on and see what oh god all right i'm gonna turn this volume down because it's gonna get very loud oh i really don't want to do this i'm so nervous ah ah oh my god it worked no it didn't oh so, oh it didn't work. All right, I'll be right back. Second time is the charm. Ha ha! It worked. Nice. Let's do it again. All right. Oh, that's not annoying at all. Yeah, this thing's spitting up bone meal. I messed up somewhere on that. Ah, there we go. All right. Again, this thing still is bone meal. That's, I mean, eventually it'll go away. I think. I actually have three stacks of bone meal, so it might not. All right.
that's pretty good, I think. I don't, I hope, I just don't have, actually, yeah, so I'm going to pull up my second, my uh, cam account and make sure as I'm pressing the, the plant button, make sure it's, I'm just not spamming it so much that it, it, it's barely keeping up. I want to make sure the timing and all that is correct. So I'll be back and we'll place some TNT in there. After many, many hours of testing, I think this thing is finally done and built correctly and won't break. So what happened was, obviously in the last clip you guys saw this part break. This is easy to fix. It's not that bad to fix. I was just missing a um, uh, a block in, in there. So that wasn't that bad. But when I went to test it again, this entire side broke. And this side broke. And all of these broke. Oh, I still have a schematic on. So I had to do, as as also you can tell, that I have wood in my inventory, and there's a bunch of wood here. I spent a lot of time trying to fix this thing so it actually works correctly, and I th think it finally does. I did a quick little test, and it should be working. So we're gonna do a little test here. I also didn't have my headphones in. So... So as you can tell, in the middle there, there's a little delay about when I can plant this tree. So I, I can't just continuously plant it, which is the point of this whole thing. So there's a sticky piston underneath this hopper here that pulls this dirt block out. And what that does is there's a delay right here which is determined by where, how high the tree grows. So how high the tree grows is how long the delay is, basically. And I was missing a redstone dust in there, a repeater literally right there. Yeah, that one right there. Um, and I was missing, well, it, when it broke, I a lot of redstone, like redstone dust and torches got broken. So it just was all around not easy to fix, but I will show a short clip of the outside of this thing working because actually has this thing, oh, this thing's fired. Oh no, it's only fired once. Yeah, so it fired once and we got minus a stack because I put a stack in here, but we got, uh, so I put these in. So we got, a little under two and a half stacks from one tree explosion. From one TNT, one TNT, almost two and a half stacks of, of logs. So I'd say that's pretty dang good. And I think, like I said, actually, so yeah, this side's still good. And that side's still perfect. Oh, thank God. So I think, we're gonna do a little AFK session. I'll come back and you guys, you guys will see uh, probably two clips, probably one on the backside of that and then the you know TNT go boom, boom. Um, so with that, I'll be right back and we'll have some numbers for you. Well, the time difference between the last clip you saw and this one is literally about five minutes. And as you can probably tell, the entire thing broke again. Oh, I, I don't know how this keeps happening. It, 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 I fixed a little bit of it. I fixed all of it. This was a little broken on this side. Uh, oh, piston. Um, I just don't understand. I, I guess a clue should have been when the dirt didn't get replaced and I manually fixed it by putting a torch there. That should have been my first clue that this was broken, but I figured it was it just like a server lag side or something, but 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna do this. Thing's just so annoying. So yep, yeah, this is this is hundred percent broken. Very much so. Yep. Push that piston all the way out. Push that one down. Th at least I think this is all good. All of this is good. Um, but I think we'd have to wait to finish this till the next episode because this is just taking in unnecessarily long. So let's just head over to the shopping district because the our new server-wide game has started. If you watch other members of AutoCraft, you'll know what the, what I'm talking about. Um, but let's head over to the shopping district right now. So apparently, now with sabotage, the <laughs> the um time to buy traps has opened up. Uh, it was like I think it opened up a couple days ago, but um, so it looks like that has opened up. And I think we go over here to the Sabotage Ruins and pay one diamond block to buy five traps. And if you want to buy specific Sabotage effects, so the, the Sabotages are, say that someone can't use like a potion or uh, a, a totem of undying. That's why I have one on me. Because this game has started. Um, so that's kind of what those are for. And traps are what you build to actually kill people. But I can't just walk up and, you know, hack at them with my axe. I have to build a trap and lure them to it and kill them. So it looks like death is the only one. I think it's death. I don't know. But it looks like someone else um, has... Oh no, this might be Rustic. I think Rustic was the first one. So it looks like me and Rustic are the only ones who have bought traps so far. And with that, I think we'll call it call the episode here today. Um, hope, hopefully by next episode we will have finished the tree farm and actually have it working for more than five minutes. But until then... See you guys next time. And make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you like this stuff. Because next episode, after the tree farm, we'll probably build some traps and try to lure someone to it. So don't, you definitely don't want to miss that. Have a nice day.